All right, welcome to the CSGM TR series backup camera installation video. Here we're going to show you how to install the CSGM TR series backup camera on your vehicle. Comes complete with an OEM GM bezel. Uh, this is a factory bezel and it's preloaded with our camera source exclusive Super CMOS camera. Uh, 600 TV lines of resolution, so the picture is crystal clear. It's better than factory. Has the integrated parking guidelines. Uh, it's all built into the bezel, so it's very easy to install. The harness has a single point connector on the end, so removing the tailgate is a piece of cake. Uh, the harness is all loom, so it's protected inside the tailgate and under the vehicle. We'll get more into that. Um, this wire here on the harness actually controls the parking guidelines, so you can turn those off if you're not a fan of the lines. Those lines just more or less help you judge distance, etc. Comes with a 29 foot fully loomed integrated harness with a single point socket at the back. Again, it makes the makes it so you can remove the tailgate very easily. Everything's pre-loomed, so it's protected under the vehicle. And the harness is long enough to get you inside the cab of even the longest trucks out on the market. At the end of the harness, you'll find the power, the ground, and the RCA connector. Again, with the RCA, you can go into any monitor that has an RCA input. And, uh, and then you have just the standard power and ground connections here. And again, these connections are made inside the cab, so they're outside of the weather and the elements. You don't have to worry about corrosion and, and so forth. The harness is loomed and uh, very simple to install. Comes with all the hardware you're going to need to install it. Uh, the connections, the leads, the terminals, uh, and some snap bushings and zip ties. Comes with the plug for the bezel just in case you don't have a lock and tailgate from the factory you can plug that and it'll look just like it came from the factory without the lock um, and uh, we're going to show you how to install this in a vehicle that has factory navigation uh, from 2007 to 2011 non-hard drive GM navigations you can use our CSGM VSS 2 connector shown here uh, this comes with the brown VSS connector it plugs right into the back of the radio and it allows you to integrate the RCA connection uh, into your factory radio. So it's very simple to use. Now, if your truck came from the factory with a navigation radio, you already have that brown connector in the back. So you don't need the connector itself. You can just get the CSGM VSS1 harness shown here. Just has the two pins on the end. Make it really easy to uh, plug in the existing brown connector with the video leads that you need. And again, on the uh, other side of this connector, uh, it's just a simple RCA so you can just plug the camera right in and it integrates it right into your nav. All right, so regardless of whichever connector you need, you are going to have to have your navigation flashed by the dealer if it's not already done so. Um, we're going to show you how to determine if it's already flashed. Um, we're also going to show you how to wire this thing up to your navigation. Um, this information is also contained in the install document. The kit does come with full color installation instructions, so it'll walk you through the process. Um, a lot of good information in here. Again, it takes you step by step. Um, the video is going to walk you through the process as well, but it's good to have this as reference. So let's take a look and see how this is installed. First part of installing this camera kit is you have to make sure that your navigation is backup camera ready. You can tell by going the reverse and you'll see that there's a banner across the top of the black screen. This indicates that the navigation has been flashed and it's ready for camera. Another way you can tell is if you go into the menu on the navigation itself and then you click on the display settings you'll see that there's a rear camera option in the menu this would not be here if the navigation wasn't flashed for rear camera in here you can turn the camera on and off so if you bought your camera or I'm sorry if you bought your navigation system from an aftermarket reseller they may have the nav unit flashed for camera but it's disabled in the setting so in which case you can just go in and turn this on and you'll be ready for camera. Now you can see with this turned off, if we go to reverse, nothing happens. So now we're in reverse, no signal to the camera. And if you turn it back on and we go to reverse, we can see that there's the banner across the top. So this indicates that the unit's flashed and ready for camera. And your GM dealer can flash the program for you if it's not already there. So let's take a look at how to install the VSS interface adapter for the nav and the rear camera. 